Sometime in the next millennium, when one looks back on the annals of Florida State football, it will be hard to overlook the talented offensive schemes that Seminole fans have come to love. Many see Florida State football as an offensive juggernaut, always on the verge of establishing new trends in college football. While the quarterback takes most of the credit, it is the fleet-footed running backs that give those teams their balance. Florida State has had a rich history of running backs, as different in characteristics as one can imagine. Put them all together, and you'd have a running back for the ages. Separately, they each had a style so unique that they were able to make their own mark in the Seminole record books. My running style is more of an elusive, slashing style type runner, where it enables me to take advantage of my size and ability. It's been said many times that good things come in small packages. Over the years, that's been especially true of Florida State tailbacks. Pound for pound, they pack as much excitement into every play as anyone on the field. And that was certainly the case with a Georgia peach Bobby Bowden recruited named Dexter Carter. Dexter Carter was a, really an overachiever, but he had a lot of talent, but he didn't have size. In other words, he could catch the ball, he could run the ball, he blocked, he'd run hard, he was tough, he's dedicated, hard worker. I really had to fight um, uh, the, 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 the smallest type of running back um, to try to get an opportunity to play. And uh, so it didn't really phase me coming to Florida State. All I needed was the opportunity. Carter was just five foot nine, but he could explode at any given moment. Just ask any fan that packed Doak Campbell Stadium on October 28, 1989. Carter took FSU's first play from scrimmage and sent FSU fans into a frenzy. Side by Dexter Carter, touchdown Florida State. First play from scrimmage, a 37 yard touchdown run. Miami would never recover and the Knowles would post a 24 to 10 win. For the game, Carter ran for 142 yards. That was one of only a handful of 100 yard rushing games turned in by Carter in his FSU career. He also found other ways to torment the opposition, like returning punts, or catching passes out of the backfield, or returning kickoffs. As a matter of fact, Carter's 89 heroics weren't the first he turned in against Miami. As a freshman, Carter teamed with Keith Ross for a 100-yard razzle-dazzle kickoff return against the Canes at the Orange Bowl. He played big and big games. In the 1988 Fiesta Bowl, Carter snared four passes for a total of 89 yards all part of an amazing 31 to 28 FSU win over Nebraska. Two years later in the Fiesta Bowl, against the same Nebraska Cornhusker team, Carter again helped knock off Nebraska with a combined 119 yards rushing and receiving, including a 10 yard TD catch. During his career, Carter split time with Sammy Smith, his backfield teammate for three of his four years. But Sammy was a bigger back Though quick, Dexter was still like a stick of dynamite when he got the ball. By the time Sammy moved on to the pros, Dexter got just one year as the main ball carrier. That was 1989, and he made the most of it, scoring eight touchdowns as the Knowles went 10-2 and, and finished the year ranked third nationally. Carter still ranks among the top 10 rushers of all time at Florida State, and he's still in the top 10 for career rushing touchdowns as well. Carter was truly an all-purpose back, and during his four years at Florida State, he demonstrated enough skill and speed to warrant a first-round selection in the NFL draft by the San Francisco 49ers. Dexter Carter, small in size, huge on the field.